Guys, in today's video, we are testing some viral or not TikTok hacks, TikTok recipes, TikTok food videos, whatever you want to call them. This is actually my first video doing them like this, but I kind of was just interested in trying. I always see things on TikTok and I'm like, hmm, kind of curious, like I want to try them. And I know not everybody has TikTok, so I'm going to be um, testing out two recipes today that I just wanted to, you know, kind of try them out from things that I've seen on TikTok. And I will go ahead and leave their usernames on the screen for TikTok. And I will also leave a link for their videos down below in case you do have TikTok and you want to go check them out. But I'm just going to try them out and just see, you know, what the hype is about or if it's something I'm like, hmm, you know. Um, so today we are testing out two of them. So the first one is from Team Terry Keto. And I don't know if this is the original creator of the recipe or not, but this is the video that I saw. So what she went ahead and did was she used some low carb tortillas and she put some cream cheese on them and she put some everything bagel seasoning on them and then she fried them in butter. So we're going to be doing exactly what she did, um, but I'm also going to be testing out to see how they come out in the air fryer. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. If you're new here and you like keto or low carb recipes, please make sure you hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be updated every time we drop a video. Okay, so I'm going to just take out these low carb tortillas here and I'm taking out two of them because like I said, I am going to do one of them in the air fryer. But for this first one, all you do is put some cream cheese on it, sprinkle it with everything but the bagel seasoning. There's no set amount. You just sprinkle however much you think. And then what they said to do is just roll it up. And then we're just gonna get a knife and we're just gonna cut it into little pieces. All right, and then I'm just going to drop some butter into a skillet on medium heat. And then we can go ahead and place these cream cheese bagel bites into the skillet and go ahead and fry them. This is the way that they did it in the TikTok video. And while these are frying, I'm going to go ahead and get my other tortilla ready. And we're going to go ahead and try to make those in the air fryer only because I'm just curious to see how they come out in the air fryer. I really love to use my air fryer. So, and I know a lot of people really like the air fryer also. Okay, so again, there's really not much to explain here, but I'm just putting some cream cheese on the other one, doing the same exact thing. And then once we have our cream cheese, and you know, you can put as much or little as cream cheese as you want, but I really like cream cheese, so I'm just going to spread it over the whole tortilla so that it's all over it. And then once we're done with that, we can grab our everything but the bagel seasoning and we can sprinkle some more on there. Okay, and just like before, we're just going to roll them up. All right, and then we're going to get our knife. We're going to cut them up into little pieces. And then for these ones, we're going to do them a little bit differently. I'm still going to put butter on them. Um, it's your choice if you want to put butter on them or if you want to just spray them with cooking spray. But because this person did put butter on them, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to brush the front and the back of all the little pieces with melted butter. And then we um, are going to pop them into the air fryer. Just checking on these ones to make sure that they don't burn. Um, and then we're ready to put these ones for the air fryer on the tray and I'm just going to put them on 400 degrees and see how long they take. I'm going to just start off as two minutes because I know that these, you know, don't take very long. All right. So here we have both kinds of big old cream cheese bites, whatever you want to call them. And these are the ones from the air fryer. So the ones from the air fryer are a little less golden than the fried ones. So here you go. Here's what they look like here. So um, these ones here are actually the ones that 
um, we made in the air fryer here. Okay, so here's the color of those. These here are the ones that we fried in butter. So these are the ones uh, like what they did in the video. So let's go ahead and try that first. Oh, these are good. Mm. These are good. Okay, now let's try one that we made in the air fryer. Actually, I think I like, I think I prefer the ones in the air fryer. So next up, I really don't know how to say his name. I'm not even going to try to say it, but I'm going to put his name here on the screen. And again, I will leave his TikTok in the description down below. But basically, he is making Parmesan cheese balls made out of grated Parmesan and egg whites. And then he's just frying them. So we're going to give them a try and see what happens. So let's go ahead and move on to testing these out. All right, so in his video, he added about, um, I believe it was half a cup of grated Parmesan to a bowl. And I have a couple clumps here, I'm just trying to get out. And then to that, he just adds egg whites, not the whole egg, just the egg whites alone. So whether that's from a bottle or from two egg whites, it really doesn't matter. So he went ahead and mixed that in with the grated Parmesan. Now, this makes four Parmesan cheese balls, and we're just going to mix that up until you're able to form a couple uh, cheese balls out of it. So I'm just kind of mixing it until we can actually, you know, form something out of it. So that's pretty much all you do, guys. So that's it. There's no other ingredients for this. So I don't know. We'll see how this comes out. So then from this dough that we have here we're just gonna try to split it into making four cheese balls and uh see how it goes so um i mean just gonna go with this one here and then we are going to drop it into the oil you do want to make sure that your oil is hot so i'm just going to drop it in and see what happens and then we will continue making the other three cheese balls All right, well, so you want to fry them until they're about golden brown. They'll get about this color here. They kind of look like hush puppies, you know. Oil, we'll set them on a plate. We're going to put a paper towel on, you know, to use up all that grease. And yeah, they feel nice and crisp on the outside. And let's go ahead and see what they come out like. All right, guys, so we... Went ahead and finished these cheese balls. So I think, I don't know if I made them too big, but you could see they are definitely fried up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bite into the smaller one. So let's see what they taste like. Not bad. You can see what they look like on the inside. Kind of um, airy.
These are definitely different, but they're not bad. They're good. I think they would taste good with some seasonings in it, like maybe some Italian seasoning or some garlic powder. I will say one thing about these cheese balls though, is you have to really be, be into cheese in order to like them. So it's not something that I could probably eat all the time. Definitely not all the time. They do have a really strong Parmesan taste, but I feel like if you had it as a little snack or appetizer with something, then, you know, it's not bad. But like I said, I think it would be really good to try them with some seasonings or something like that. But if you're definitely into the cheese, you're definitely gonna so like them. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video.